How to make a infographic video in Canva step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can build a infographic video on Canva. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you have to do is head on over to canva.com. On Canva, you will be able to log in and create your account for free. And all you have to do is sign up with your email address. Now, once you sign up with your email address, this is going to be your dashboard. So in this dashboard, you're going to see your video section over here and you can directly go into this video section and you will see different types of templates that will be suggested to you. Now we're looking specifically to build an infographic. So what would an infographic entail? Well, it depends on your particular niche. Let's say I'm in the educational niche and I want to build an infographic on maybe a certain subject in science, biology maybe. So for that, I can just go into the search bar over here in Canva and I will search for infographic over here. And once I search for infographic, you will be able to see there are multiple different templates available. Now, within these templates, you have categories as well as media that you can choose to insert as well. Now, I'm looking specifically for infographic videos. So I'm going to search for that over here. And once you search for infographic videos, you will see multiple different templates. So you have this basic timeline template. You also have this money template, a very search oriented template, a simple template, this business template, a project template. You have a training template, project report, achievement template. So you guys can see there are a lot of different options available and you can choose whichever one you want. Now, I am looking to create something related to biology, you know, biological infographic. So I think I'm going to take this one over here. It's already related to that field. Or maybe I want to go into something else. So we also have gaming based ones. We have project reports, history, uh, anatomy, and many more. But I'm going to take like a clean template like this one. And this kind of template is helpful because you can really convert anything in this template because it's such a basic template that you can really build it into anything of your choice. So I'm going to click on customize this template over here. So now that we've taken this super nice template, we are going to be able to see the preview of the template on the top left. And below that, you have your little timeline panel. And in this timeline panel, you will be able to see all of the scenes within that template. So let's take a look at the pre-existing template. So this is our template over here. And we can get started with editing this and making this our own infographic. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our first scene and you can click on any of these scenes at the bottom. And then once you have your scene, you can click on any element and then you can insert your own text. So let's say for us, I want to add maybe... So let's say for our particular infographic, I want to add something like hand washing guidelines. So I'm just going to add hand washing guidelines like this, and then I'm going to check what it's going to look like. So the text has been animated as it was previously. However, the white block behind it does not look very befitting now. So I'm going to actually increase the size of that. And then I'm going to place this over here and then I'm going to click on the circle on the back and then we can change this to fit our own color scheme over here. Now I'm going to go into the second scene and just taking a look at the second scene over here. So we have this and then it transitions into this, but it turns away pretty soon. So I'm actually going to extend the timing on this particular scene like this. So now I'm going to actually preview what this is going to look like. So now I'm going to replace this video and this might be, you know, I can add whatever I want like this and I'm going to resize the text and then I will go into elements over here and I'll search for and washing over here. And then I can go into the videos section over here and I can insert my own videos. You can even upload whatever you want. But I'm just going to take this video over here and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go back into elements and then if you directly go into elements and scroll down, you're going to be able to see your frames. So I'm going to take a circular frame because I want my video to appear in a circular fashion and I'm going to click on there and I'm going to send it backward and then I'm going to add another layer of sending it backward once more. So we have this over here like this. 
And now I'm going to preview it because this is something that we just added. So this frame is not animated. I'm going to click on animate and I want this to pen or maybe yeah, wipe on the right side as well. And then I'm going to also customize the time. Now you can also customize the time and let's say I want this to be only on the entrance of this particular item. Now, once you have done that, you can go into your next scene and we're going to edit it further. But let's say you don't want to, you know, take the pre-existing video scene, you want to customize it. So you can easily do that as well. To do that, all you have to do is, now I'm going to customize this as well. But to create your own scene, just click on add page and then place the page wherever you want to add your new scene to. Now over here, let's say I want this to be a similar scene where it's, you know, a circle. And then I want to add maybe my own video. So I'll just search for hand washing again. And then let's say we have, so let's take this video over here. And then I'm going to click on animate on the video. I also want this to pen. And then I'm going to reduce the time as well making sure our elements are loading up properly. Also change up the background a bit if you want. And if you want to actually replicate a pre-existing style, you can click on duplicate page and then you can go on ahead and just duplicate and add a different item. So let's say I want to keep the same element and I want to add a different video, you can do that as well. Now, this is totally up to you how you want to create your elements, how you want to actually, you know, build each individual scene within your video. But let's just say we're going to keep this a really short infographic because infographics really depend on your niche. So we're going to add this over here and I'm going to use the same image that we used previously. And I'm going to go back and add the frame as well. I want it to be circular like this. And then I'm going to change the block size as well. Now let's take a look at our new infographic. You guys can see between each individual scene, you will be able to see the transitions that have been added. So currently it's still, it's still processing the changes that we've made. And once those changes have been processed, we will be able to see all of our videos. So you guys can see currently this transition is being completed. And now let's keep on turning the preview. And within a couple of seconds, when the transition has been added, our preview will move forward. So in this way, you can start building with Canva and you can build any kind of video, infographics or anything else. Now, once you have completed the visual elements, you're going to click on share on the top right and then click on download. Then you have the option to download this as a MP4 video. That is what you want to do if you want all of your animations and your video timings to remain intact. Now, if there is any particular scene you want to increase the time for, you can just go into the bottom preview bar and extend the time like so to actually have that particular scene on a longer time. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video